Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Beatbreaker, and today I got some really exciting news for all of you who are looking into starting to record or stream. Now, Shadowplay, NVIDIA's homemade recording solution, actually got a huge update with the NVIDIA GeForce Experience 2.0 as of today or yesterday. Now, what you're looking at right here is the standard recording uh, settings of Shadowplay. You can choose your mode, you can choose your shadow time, which basically just gives you the opportunity to record something that you actually haven't recorded. So if something in the last five minutes happened, you can just press that hotkey, Alt F10, and it saves that shadow recording. And you can change, of course, the quality. And um, here's a neat little trick, by the way. If you change your frame rate from 60 to 30, you actually get double the quality. How is this gonna work? Basically, you have this bitrate slider right here. And um, basically what this does is it gives you the option to choose between 10 or 50 megabits per second. Now, this 50 megabits per second is actually gonna be calculated on a minute's basis. So if you choose 30 instead of 60 FPS, of course, in a minute, there's gonna be less frames in within that minute and um, each individual frames gets more quality. So basically choosing 30 instead of 60 gives you double the quality. Pretty awesome. So if you don't really need the 60 FPS, for example, you don't need like slow-mo stuff or you just upload to YouTube because YouTube can only handle 30 FPS, you're basically just fine at 30 FPS and you get double the quality. Neat little trick right there, isn't it? But what did they actually include with the new update? And most of the things that they included is interesting regarding streaming. But why would you even want to stream uh, using Shadowplay over something like OBS? I'll tell you why. Basically, Shadowplay is not going to give you a huge hit on the FPS. Basically, it's only going to take one or two FPS off the game, uh, while something like OBS is going to take like 10 to 20 FPS. So in games like DayZ, it's going to be really hard to stream with OBS or to record with DX Story because those programs are going to take a lot of FPS off the very, very few FPS that you already get. So you could use something like Shadowplay. Now, streaming with Shadowplay is extremely easy. All you have to do is log in with your Twitch credentials, blah, 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 and hit the broadcast key, and there you go. That's all you have to do. However, with the latest update, they actually introduced the custom uh, settings here for quality. Now, before you could only choose between low and high, and now you can actually change everything just like in a normal recording. You can change the resolution to 720p, you can change your frame rate, and you can also set the bit rate. Now this is amazing because now you have full control over your stream and no longer do you have like crappy stream quality because if you have a really beastly up upload, uh, you can actually stream with five megabits per second. I only have a crappy upload, so we're gonna set that lower to 3.5. Now the next thing that they introduced with this update and that's a really, really huge thing and a really important part of Shadowplay is that they introduced desktop capturing. Before this wasn't possible, and now you can actually just hit this um, little key here, this little, this little, this little button. As you can see, that the screen is like flickering, and now you can actually record your desktop. Now this is amazing because now no longer the stream is gonna just stop instantly when you alt tab out of a game. You can play in window mode, and it also enables you to to record gameplay from Minecraft, OpenGL games. Um, indie titles or pretty much anything you can think of. You can pretty much record everything with Shadowplay as of right now and that's just amazing. Now here's some other cool things. You can have like a camera in the corners. You can choose which size you want to have it. You can have a status indicator bar. Of course it's just on your screen to see whether you're streaming or not which is really really handy. And um, another thing that they introduced is the um, pause resume broadcasting hotkey. So basically what this does is whenever you're going to the desktop and you do something really, really um, private, uh, you can just hit that hotkey and it's gonna pause the stream rather than just interrupt it completely. Um, the viewers are still gonna hear your voice, however, they're not gonna see a, an image or rather your desktop and you can do whatever you need to do. Now, the next really big update that they introduced with Shadowplay is the microphone quality. Basically, before, the recording quality of the microphone was really, really shit. Seriously, I wouldn't record it because it was so bad. But now, actually, the quality of the microphone is pretty damn amazing. And I didn't record this one with Shadowplay because I couldn't have changed um, those things. I couldn't have showed you those things whilst actually recording. But why not end this commentary recorded with Shadowplay? So let's just change to this setting here. I want to record in 30 FPS, that's all okay. I'm just gonna hit the hotkeys and start recording. There you go, you now hear my voice through Shadowplay and as you can hear, the quality is pretty much the same. It's, it's pretty amazing, I'm really stunned by the quality and uh, some other cool features that they introduced is that you can actually now use Shadowplay on notebook GPUs. 
shadow play, uh, shadow play modes, as well as streaming. However, the desktop capture is not supported on desktop GPUs. Now, the next amazing thing is that they brought shadow play to all GTX 600 series graphics card. So before you could only use it um, if you had a GTX 650 or higher. Now we can also use it if a GTX 600, which is amazing. So if you have a GTX 600, 700, 800 series GPU, you can basically use shadow play and stream and record and do all that crazy stuff. And also if you have one of the notebook um, GPUs, as you can see right here, um, you can also do that. Now this, this article here, I'm gonna leave in the description below so you can actually check it out. There's a lot of stuff here. There's also some game stream stuff for like streaming to TVs or I don't even understand. I don't really care about this. Uh, so they really brought a lot of new features to GeForce Experience basically. And uh, there's the changelog of it. And uh, by the way, I almost forgot, if you wanna record in desktop mode, you have to have arrow enabled. But that's basically the only downside to recording with shadow play and having it to record your desktop. But that was it for today's video, guys. I just want to let you know about the recent updates to Shadow Play. And if you have a GTX 600 Plus graphics card, definitely go and check it out again. It's really worth checking out. And if you want to stream or record and you don't have a beastly PC, then this is definitely something you should be looking into. But that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like as it helps me out tons. But have a good one. And until the next one, cheers.